morning I am aware this camera angle is not ideal um, I'm just driving on the way to uni this morning and I'm in some of the worst traffic I've ever seen in my entire life this morning um, it is well it's the second day back at uni we're still in the first week yesterday was an absolute flop because I got lost and I was late and then we finished early so anyway I didn't I didn't do a video yesterday but today I thought I'll start off a bit earlier maybe like I'll start like a little vlog or something when I park the car but honestly I can't even tell you how bad the traffic is I've never seen anything like it in my entire life so anyway I'm on the way to uni and I just thought I would say hello um, I'm not late today yet but I don't know where the building is that I'm going so I could still be late yet oh my goodness honestly traffic is horrendous not good anyway hope you're having a nice day Hope you're all right. I hope you're enjoying uni if you just come back to uni or school or whatever you're doing. And uh, I'll see you in a minute. Hello. So I had such good intentions of like, oh, hang on. I'm turn the aircon off. It's absolutely roasting. It's been freezing for the past few days, but right now, for whatever reason, I am absolutely on fire. It's just the sun's just come out and it's just absolutely roasting anyway so I was just saying I had really good intentions of vlogging today I was like I'm gonna like vlog a bit of uni I'm going to maybe go into town I vlog what I do when I go into town on my dinner like if I go shopping after uni and then uni finished early today we finished just after just after uh, lunch time so we didn't have any afternoon classes or anything um, so that was like good but it meant that when I went into town um, everyone else went home so I was having dinner on my own uh, because I wanted to go shopping but I was starving so anyway so I had dinner and then I went shopping but because it was when everyone else was on their lunch break it's absolutely jam-packed so anyway i didn't end up vlogging and now i'm on my way home um i did buy a few bits and bobs when i was out um but i'll show you that when i get home i think um i was gonna show you some of the things when i was in the car but when i got to the car park there was a girl trying to get in the car so i was like Okay, better be speedy. Anyway, just thought I would update you on my day. I know we've got this beautiful angle again. Um, but I wasn't late to uni. Well, I was, but not by too much. Like five minutes, it's fine. And um, don't know, I just had a good day at uni. It, our tutor was very positive and like put me in a good mindset, so. That's good. Anyway, I'll see you in a minute. So, hello everyone. Um, I said that I would show you what I bought when I went shopping. And um, I've not done that. But I'm thinking that I'll do that tomorrow after work. I've come home. I've had my tea. I've gone into my pyjamas. And I just want to chill. And I'm like, what an absolute flop. Um, but today I'm trying to teach myself how to edit a video on my laptop because I only really know how to edit videos on my phone and not even that well like I'm still learning how to do that but these like programs are so like complex can I flip the camera around or not that I just took a picture of myself okay I can't flip the camera around um Honestly, I was going to film that bit again, but literally the fact that I'm sat here on my phone, like, I want to show you this video editing software that I don't know how to use. 
and then I'm like, oh, I'll flip my camera around and I can't flip my camera around. That really just goes to show how bad I am at using technology. Anyway, my point is, I don't know how to edit on my laptop. I can kind of do it on my phone, except for it's tricky. Because on your phone, like, you've got your big fat finger and you're pressing and you can't cut it precisely. So, also, there's only limited things that you can do on your phone. Also, when I edit on my phone, I film on my phone and I've bought a camera um, quite a while ago now and I've not really used it because I don't know how to edit the footage that I film with it. So, there you go, that's, that's what I'm doing. I'll show you my clothes tomorrow and my bits and bobs that I got when I was shopping, except for I did break one of the things already. Basically, it was a bracelet and... Um, you know those like bangles? I basically squeezed it to try and make it smaller because I only have little wrists. Oh, you can't really tell. Basically, I have really teeny wrists and it just didn't fit. So I thought, I'll just squeeze it like squeeze the metal in. Didn't work, snapped it straight away. Anyway, um, I'll show you tomorrow after work. So, um, yeah, I'll see you in a bit. This is a real life what actually happens in my life vlog so there you go <laughs> hello good morning i'm here again in traffic um it's just my daily routine it seems to set off what i think is plenty of time and then get stuck in a traffic jam absolutely amazing um so yeah, so today I'm at work rather than at uni, so that's what I'm doing today. I start at 8 o'clock, it's now 20 to 8 and I'm in traffic. I set off early this morning thinking like I'm going to get a latte on the way from Starbucks or McDonald's because they both have drive throughs on my way. It doesn't look like I'm going to be able to... Never mind. It's really like a dull, miserable morning today. Like, the sun's just not out and it's just freezing. This is what I was saying. It's been freezing all week and then yesterday afternoon it was just absolutely roasting. So, anyway, that's where we're up to. Hope you're having a good week. Um,. We'll see what happens today. So I've just arrived at work and I am on time. I am not late. In fact, I am a few minutes early. So that is good. But I didn't get my McDonald's um, latte or Starbucks or whatever. But never mind, I'm on time. Once in my life, yay. Hello, so I know this is not the best background and it's looking very colourful with my Cheshire Cat up here, stack of boxes, bing bong here, mochi, bags, but um, I just thought I would film this because I keep saying that I'm going to do it and then I'm like, oh, I'm tired today, I didn't work all day, I'm going to have a bath. So anyway, basically what I bought on Tuesday when I was shopping at uni. Um, so first of all, I'm gonna show you the fails. I went to this shop called Lovisa, Lovisa, L-O-V-I-S-A. And in this shop, um, they have lots of jewelry and um, they had a massive sale. So I bought these two bracelets. They came on this backing, they came like this. And it's a moonstone and a little knot and they're like bangles. This one fits me fine because this gap's small enough. But on this one the gap was just like, I, it was like this. It was a bit too big. Um, so I thought I'll just push it together so it fits more comfortably on my wrist. But it's actually broken the joint at the back. So I'm really disappointed about that. So I don't know whether to take it back. Like, 
you know like with a bangle sometimes you just squeeze it together slightly to make it fit anyway they were only four pounds so it's not the end of the world but also it was a moonstone one which is my favorite one like i have a moonstone ring and so i was really excited to have my chain but anyway never mind and then the other thing i got from that shop is a three pack of earrings they are cubic zirconia um, and they said they were hypoallergenic um, they came in three sizes so teeny sparkles like middle sized sparkles which I'm actually wearing right now and then these hearts at the bottom I wish I was filming with my proper camera because it would have shown up so much better but because it is the evening after work it's just a bit too dark outside my camera doesn't pick up um, the light as well so it would have been far too dark so anyway these like sparkle rainbows like they're all it's like as if they're holographic they're really beautiful they are cupid zirconia um, I absolutely love them anyway so that's that that's the earrings I got those from the shop as well um, they were eight pounds for three pairs but um, there was 30% off the whole shop honestly anywhere you go now there is a sale or at least in my local town and stuff someone just came upstairs and I thought they were talking to me right so then the next place that I went to was Primark and you know what Primark I was quite disappointed in because I've seen all these things online like this has been released, this has been released in Primark, like ready for Christmas or like hot water bottle, like cosies for Christmas. Um, like the Disney ones I mean. Um, and I just couldn't find anything. So anyway, I've basically got this cropped jumper. It is black. It's not showing up as black, but it is black. And then it's got more of a like high neck it's just basic i got this in a size small i know primark have changed their sizes now so a small is a 10 to 12 and this jumper was only five pounds so i thought that was super cheap and i thought that would just be really comfy like basic top and because i got it in a small rather than extra small it's not too short on me it does cover my whole tummy so that's that I also just stocked up on some leggings, but again, they've changed the sizes, so I wasn't sure what to get. Um, so I got an extra small, which is a 6 to 8, which to me looked about right. So these obviously are just like £2 or something. Crazy cheap. I'll have a look. £2.50 for those. So that was a bargain. And that's all I got from Primark because I went in looking for these Disney things and they just didn't have them in my local Primark. Whether they've sold out or if they're just not in stock yet, I'm not sure. Um, anyway, so that was uh, what I got from Primark. H&M is a more exciting one. H&M have a massive sale and so does new look new look is so good but i didn't actually get anything from new look um i think i will get some things next week it was one of those days where it was getting really crowded and it had been raining in the morning so i had my coat on but then um it was warm in the afternoon so it was like really hot stuffy and crammed shops so anyway, first thing I got from H&M is this beautiful top. It's quite short, so it's not quite a crop top, but um, you would need to wear more high-waisted pants rather than low-rise pants because you'd have sort of that awkward middle bit out. And this top was £12.99, but I got it in the sale for £4, and I got this in a size 8, and it fits me perfectly, and it's just too too cute and I just thought that would be absolutely lovely um, now the last thing I got is the most exciting thing that I've literally been going around every single shop 
weighing up the different colours, the different textures of these coats. And so I've got this teddy bear jacket, um, also from H&M. It's from the Divided collection. So it's like this. I know some of them have like zips and they're more like bomber jackets. But I got more of a classic kind of style. Um, and this was £35, well £34.99. But I do get a student discount in H&M. They did have a cream one. I preferred this. But my mum and my boyfriend prefer the cream one. So I might go back and change it. But I absolutely love it. It's honestly like the softest thing ever. Um, the other ones in different shops were heavier material. So if you wanted a heavier one, um, then I would say get maybe one from New Look. Because theirs was very heavy. But this is really lightweight but really, really soft. So I think it'll be really warm, but um, really cosy and not too heavy on your shoulders. So anyway, that's everything that I've got. I know this has been very anticlimactic to say that I've been saying for days that I'm going to record this. But never mind. Here we are. This is what I got. I have good fun shopping. I honestly just love looking around. Like, does anyone else just spend like loads of time just scrolling through websites internet shopping like i'm on runway at the moment because i'm looking for some interesting clothes because i feel like at the moment i'm just wearing the same boring thing every day i'm really inspired by like pretty pastel please and people who wear just like really nice like pastel clothes and things like that every day but I never wear these things myself like I might wear a t-shirt but that'll be about as far as it goes so I'm just looking that's all I like do yesterday I went on to Urban Outfitters and I bought a pair of baby pink vans just because i saw them and they were in the sale you know what i was saying before about sales really have a look sales are everywhere and they're really good so if you're a student and you push for money sales so um uh, anyway i'll i'll see you in a bit so this is a really random clip um, but this is what I'm doing, so um, I'm just practicing ukulele, but the reason why I haven't been posting ukulele videos and like singing videos is because I've had a really sore throat and I've been practicing like pattern picking and finger picking, so I'm just going to try and show you a little snippet of it, but um, I'm not very good, so I'm going to cut here in case I need to do a lot of takes. <laughs> I was looking at the footage and it's nearly 20 minute long video and um, nothing really happened so I thought I'd just leave it here for now um, maybe in the weeks coming up I might do a more interesting vlog um, I've never weekly vlogged before so um, I just thought I'd do like a trial run and it turns out that I'm just tired, I'm busy, and doing boring stuff all the time. But um, over the weekend, like in weekends in general, I do more interesting things. So maybe on a weekend it might be a more interesting vlog. So I might try that out. 
but for now I'm just going to leave it here. I have filmed another video today. I filmed my Disney like plush haul. So if you're interested in like cuddly toys or if you're interested in Disney, um, just give that a, a look if you want. Um, and it will be the last video that I uploaded. I will be uploading this video after the Disney one. So anyway, thank you for watching. Um, and I'll see you in another video.